as all Canadians know, there's nothing more moving than watching veterans of World War II or Korea attend the Remembrance Day ceremony. Those people have been there my entire life. But the truth is, as time marches on, Canada loses 500 veterans of World War II every single week. But they're not gone yet. There are over 100,000 of them still living in Canada. A fact that is lost on the federal government. In the last budget, the finance minister said cuts wouldn't affect people because they were backroom cuts. Well, that's a bit of a stretch, especially if you consider veterans people. This year alone, Veterans Affairs are going to close nine offices across Canada. So if you're a World War II vet and you have a problem, what do you do? Well, you don't go into an office and talk to a real person. Those days are over. There's a 1-800 number they can call, or this is my favorite, bearing in mind the average age is 88. There's an app they can download to their smartphone, which will allow them to navigate the Veterans Affairs website, a website that will send them to the nearest Service Canada office, where if they need to make burial arrangements, they have to take a number and stand in line behind some guy like me who's waiting to get his passport renewed. I'm sorry, if you fought on the beach in Dieppe and survived, you should not have to spend any portion of your final days on this earth in a Service Canada office. And the fact that a majority of our MPs voted to send those who served on the front lines to the back of the line means lest we forget is meaningless. Clearly, we've forgotten.